Hey guys, welcome again. Welcome to A Thousand Shades of Glow. And if you're here for the very first time, you're very welcome. And to all my other guys and my gang that's returning, you're very welcome too. Yeah, as we get deeper into fall, I've been combing my stash of perfumes because I wanted to bring you something nice and yummy and sweet and comforting that you can wear throughout the cold season, throughout fall and winter. So I've got a collection here. I've got about seven fragrances that are sweet, yummy, gourmands. And today we are going to be looking at notes like Coca-Cola. Yeah, Coca-Cola. <laughs> I know many people don't know that you can have Coca-Cola notes in perfume. We're going to be looking at cocoa, chocolate, coffee, caramel, and good old vanilla. All right. So, fall sweetness. And we're going to be starting here. Let me start with this. This one here, I know I just talked about Coca-Cola and this is Youth Dew by Estee. And this is a vintage, a beautiful vintage that I've always had in my collection. And Youth Dew, whew, Youth Dew is a warm, spicy amber, very, very balsamic. And it opens with a very strong Coca-Cola note. It opens with cloves. It opens with cinnamon. That's a warm, fizzy Coca-Cola note, top note, but very strong cloves in there. The cinnamon, it gets very, very balsamic. And then slightly towards the heart and dry down, the spices kick in. And then the dry down, this dries down very vanilla -y and very powdery. Okay, so spicy, powdery, yeah, this is, this, 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 you know, I used to have a Coke addiction. Well, Coca-Cola, not Coke. <laughs> I used to drink so much Coca-Cola in one day, but I had to stop. Eventually, I realized that was not good for me. But I feel like every time I miss having a Coca-Cola, I can spritz myself with this one. <sighs> this is so yummy. This is so yummy. Some of these things you feel like eating, but you can't. All right? So youth do you. That's got a Coca-Cola note in there. That's Youth Dew. And by the way, this is very similar to other vintages like Opium and Cinnabar. Opium by YSL. Not the black opium, but the vintage opium. We still have current opium. And then Cinnabar was another one by Estee. So, yeah, so that's that. Okay. Next one, this one, this guy here, this is... Choco Mask, and Choco Mask is an, a Middle Eastern one that's been making the rounds on YouTube. Um, Choco, Choco Mask opens with, let me get something. Choco Mask, I need to get, I need to get some cardboard strips. Ooh. Ah. Choco Mask is a very strong chocolate vanilla scent. This does not have a lot of notes in it, but it's a very, very strong scent of chocolate. And I mean a nice milky, sweet milky chocolate with lots of vanilla. But there's also some slight ma in here, which further sweetens it, but gives it a bit of a resinous hint. But mostly you get chocolate and you get a bit of not a bit, but a lot of vanilla here. So this is a chocolatey vanilla. This is a proper snack in a bottle. Okay. Now, this one, uh, for it to last, I like to wear this one with cocoa butter because it's like the same sort of smells. I like to up the chocolatey, nutty tones with um, a body butter that is cocoa butter. I just slather it on and then I put this one on top and it yeah, more chocolate. Right, so that was Choco Mask, and this is an Arabian. Next one we have here, we have Mr. Tom Ford, and this is Black Orchid. And I know that Black Orchid, ooh, is polarizing. Ooh, 
this one opens nice and warm and inviting and this one has strong truffle it has black currant berries it has vanilla it, it has mexican chocolate yeah mexican chocolate oh my goodness this is so nice and warm there's something very dense and profound and deep and dark in this one ah this is like borderline gothic borderline this one it takes a lot of confidence to wear this one now i've been wearing this one for a long time I think this one came out in 2006 and I started wearing it in 2007, towards the end of 2007. So I've been wearing this for a bit and then I stopped wearing this because I found other Tom Fords that I love. But I've recently come back to wearing this and especially for cold weather. This one, ah, it's deep, it's dark, it's sensual, it's seductive, it kind of seduces and draws you in into its mysterious, deep, sweet darkness. Ah, it's everything to love and more. I feel bad that there's so many people who hate on this black orchid. But for me, this is everything. I love velvet orchid too. But this one is a very yummy gourmand, especially when the weather is very cold. And this one is good for date nights, okay? For date nights, when you're feeling very confident, this is the one to go with on a date night. All right. Okay, next one. Which one shall I do? Okay, we are going to go with, um, let me start with hypnotic poison. This is hypnotic poison. Hypnotic. This one has coconut, it has plum, it has apricot, vanilla, almond, it has sandalwood, it has musk. This one is so yummy. It opens with that coconut, it opens with the fruits, and then it kicks in very coconutty, spicy, almondy. It smells like I think I've said this before in a previous video that this smells like walking into a confectioner's or a bakery somewhere they are making choc cookies or macaroons. It reminds me, it reminds me of one, I think one summer, I think back in 2017, I was in Paris with my family and we had spent a whole day touring and walking. We were so busted. So on our way back to the hotel, I wanted to get some macaroons and we went to the La Durée at the Champs-Élysées. And I kid you not, it was so hot. We had to queue. For almost 30 minutes, we waited outside to get into La Durée to get some macaroons. My, and my, I remember my kids wanted the macaroon so badly, but they were like, we can't, we can't continue to stand in this sun. We will just go and we'll leave you here. So anyway, after that, nearly 30 minutes of waiting out in the heat, eventually I managed to get in. There was such a big, long queue. Eventually I managed to get in and my gosh, the, that fast blast of those yummy baked macaroons and baked stuff. And I just, I wanted to stay there. All right, so yeah, this is so yummy. It's it's so delicious. It's inviting, it's comforting, it's yummy, it's huggable. It ah, it dries down with a powdery vanilla, okay? It it um dries down into a very very powdery vanilla. But this one is also a beast, a longevity beast. It lasts and lasts and lasts. Okay? Yeah, so that is Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Another similar one is this one by Joe Malone. Now, this is Scarlet Poppy. Scarlet Poppy is another yummy, gourmandy uh, fragrance. That This one is made of figs. It's made of... Um, it's got barley... It's got vanilla, it's got poppy, it's got Irish. Now, this one is very similar to hypnotic poison, but whereas hypnotic poison is very nutty and very spicy, this one is a floral. It's like a very, you can smell the flowers. When it opens quite floral, but then it goes into that gourmandy yumminess. 
I've spoken about this one before. This one is very, very yummy. And I feel like this one is like, a, in terms of, this one is very, really, really, very potent. Uh, for those people who might find this one too much, I always recommend go with Scarlet Poppy. My daughter loves this one. She loves this one. In fact, she's possessed this bottle. She's decided this is her perfume now and I've had to allow. She loves it so much, but it's very yummy. So winter yummy, Poppy Scarlet. Right, we move on. Uh, final, not finally. Uh, Dolce and Gabbana, the one. Oh, this one is. I've had this one for the last, I think, since the summer, and even though I was wearing this, I I I, I love this one. It's very wearable. Even even in the summer heat, this one is wearable. But I think this one comes in, in, into its own in winter. And it's got violet, it's got orange, it's got bergamot, it's got caramel, it's got vanilla, it's got patchouli. Oh man, this I think I can say is my favorite Dolce and & Gabbana. And by the way, this one has a coffee note in it. This one has barley and it has, I forgot to say, it has barley, it has vanilla, this kind of... It smell it tastes like a yummy sweetened honeyed porridge okay it's gourmandy but it's gourmandy in a kind of a porridgey baked goods steamed dessert kind of way this one has caramel it has coffee ah it has that caramelized pear it has oris Ooh, it has orange bergamot. I really am loving this one. I, I kid you not. This has is quickly becoming a favorite of mine. I don't have a lot of Dolce & Gabbana. I haven't really found a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance that I love as much as I love this one. It's nice. It's warm. It's yummy. It's wearable. It's friendly. Uh, and it's very, very, the caramel is very, very strong in this one really really very strong caramelized yummy pear with coffee notes ah it's everything to love all right and finally is it finally yeah seventh we've got another tom ford this is noir de noir and i know a lot of people love noir de noir ah noir de noir has bitter chocolate it has spices it has saffron it has black rose again it has truffle, it has patchouli, vetiva, it has oak moss. <sighs> Ooh. This is another deep, mysterious, semi-sweet, earthy concoction that is just so lovable. It's There's something dark there, but it's not as dark and it's not as dense as black orchid. Oh, very, very, very refined. This one is very, very refined. There's a certain sophistication in this one. It's sweet. It's gourmandy. It's got that chocolate note again. Ah, oh, this is perfect. This one is really perfection. I feel like when Tom Ford gets things right, he gets things right, like on another level. When he gets things right, he... Ooh... Yeah, and that the the patchouli is not very strong here. Ah, it's nice, it's sweet, it's got some earthiness to it, it's got sweetness to it, it's got some refined sophistication in there. This one is one that you want to wear when you're going out and you want to make an impression and you want to you know, you want to look the part and you want to make an impression and also you want to be very, very refined and elegant. This is the way to go. So yeah, those are my seven um, very yummy gourmandy scents. They've got hints of caramel, coffee, chocolate, Coca-Cola. They've got pears, they've got fruits, they've got flowers. They are yummy, they are gourmandy, they are addictive, delicious. Everything we love and more. Just the perfect bunch for fall. Okay? So guys, see you next time. Please, if you have not subscribed, please remember to subscribe. Give me a like if you like the content here. 
and also it will help us with um you know people will see that you like the content here youtube will see that you like my content and that will help my channel grow and god bless god bless you see you soon ciao